Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Bronson from Fretz RV here in Sowerton, Pennsylvania. I'm excited to show you another product here from Taxa. Today we're looking at the Cricket. Took a look at the uh, the Tiger Moth the other day. Now we're stepping up a little bit. Gonna have the pop top on here. Gonna give you a little bit more space overall on the inside. A little more sleeping capacity as well. I'll take you around the outside, the inside. Show you some features. See if this will be the trailer for you. Start on the outside, just like the Tiger Moth. You've got the aluminum skin. The steel construction, powder coated underneath. This thing is really nice, very durable. A great quality build that they do here at Taxa. The paint on the outside is very durable as well, won't fade. Uh, for 2021 model year, they're now white with gray graphics. They've got the orange canvas material, which looks really cool on here. In the front, you'll find your propane tank cover. You've got two 20 pound tanks that are under there. Tongue jack, 2000 pound tongue jack on here. Take your standard two inch ball, and it's of course got a seven way plug. You've got a guard up here on the front for when you're traveling, so you're not banging up the front here. And down below, you'll have your stabilizer jacks. You've got four of those two in the front, two in the back. There's that canvas material, looks really cool. You've got the zips up there, will vent open. You've got the same great insulated acrylic windows on here with the all-terrain tires wheels look great as well on the side you'll find these rockers you can sit on these you can stand on them get up to your roof uh, you can get the tule bars on here they've got the mounts here so you can get the tule bars have a roof rack if you want to bring kayaks or bikes put a cargo rack on the top you can certainly do so there coming around the back side you do have a door here that will flip open your spare is mounted neat mounted underneath the uh the unit here also nice big window here on the back it's got a shade coming around the other side you'll find the majority of your hookups you've got two more windows you can get an optional 5000 btu air conditioner mounted in this window it would get rid of the window put the ac in there for any of you folks that are going to be in a hotter climate i might recommend that um, other than the 12 volt fan that you get on the top that's what the vent is up there Got a fresh water tank fill up. Up towards the front, you'll find you'll have your spot for your pigtail that they give you. It's like a 30 amp to a uh, 110 adapter, so you can plug it into your house or uh, the campsite. They'll have standard 110 plugs there. You've got your city water inlet, your Truma system. You've got the exhaust for that. It does your furnace as well as your hot water. It's a really cool system. It's an instant heater. And then as well, you can bring a solar panel along to set it up outside and keep the battery on board charge for any of you folks that like the boondock and pretty much run off 12 volt you're good there and then down below that is uh you've got a drain for your gray holding tank on board let me not forget up in the front you do have an outdoor shower it's got hot cold water um, which is nice since if you don't have one inside come out here maybe set up the tent and have yourself a nice uh outdoor shower Stepping onto the inside, you can kind of see here with the aluminum set up with the skeleton they're using on this. Let me get these keys here. I want to open up the back door for you so that you can see what that looks like popped open. Slide our key in here and get the other one unlocked and unlock this way. There we go. Pop the back open again. This is gonna be really cool if you got some over the nice view. Pop this open, you'll be able to see it out the back. They've rearranged the uh, inside for this model year. We've got the cushions here, the dinette table. This is gonna be great for storage underneath your seating or your bed area. You can flip these up. There's bungee cords on them. You can rearrange the bungees that are down below there so you can bring some totes, some crates, hide them under there, lift up your back space. We'll come along the other side here. As you can see that dinette set up into the table position. I'll throw a picture up as well to show what it looks like with the queen size width bed with the double bed length. But you can twist this table around if you like. The tabletop will drop down and that's how you make your bed there. Towards the front section, um, you'll find these bars are for when you're lifting it up. It kind of locks it in place. It's very easy to pop this up. You've got a latch on either side, and then there's just a latch in the front. Once you undo those, it pretty much pops up right by itself. There's no effort. Two burner stove top. 
there's gonna be a grate that comes across there and you've got a recessed sink down below that you'll find your breaker box a battery just connect switch a meter to see your battery your 110 outlets you've got 12 volt usb and your truma system for your hot water and your heat will be right there and then you've got some fuses and some switches for your lights down below that you'll find the vents for your heater they're using these milk crates for storage which is cool they've got a tower of them over here so you can store all your goodies in there you can see the accessories in here you've got your shower hose and your pigtail adapter batteries will be stored under here carbon monoxide propane detector here's those cool milk crates so you've got the bungees where you can just pull them out store all your goodies in there these plywood countertops with the laminate on top are really nice got all the plywood siding here as well I believe they're using birch on your doors like i said all these windows will have their own individual shade or screens you can pop these windows open and you've got the shades here as well now it's about a 75 degree day here today and it feels perfect in here i'm not too hot not too cool um, so right now the way it's sitting is really nice but if it does end up getting too hot in here you do have the big 12 volt exhaust fan up here standard so you can pop that open maybe open up some windows draw the air in and out through here it should be able to feel comfortable enough in here just with that you've got other light switches over here on the side pop those on then you've got 12 volt usb plugs 110 if you do have the air conditioner in the window it will take a spot for the 110 it's a big plug so it kind of takes up a lot of space there this one does have the optional berths up above so the way that these these work you just unbungee them and then they'll drop down so these are kids berths so if you want to bring two small kids along um, they're about 60 inches in length 22 inches in width so you can sleep them up here they'll just drop down and hang uh it holds up to 130 pounds so bring the kids along and they've got a spot to stay some other optional features that you can get on here there's a portable toilet that you can get that will slide under here if you want to bring that they have an outdoor awning that you can get the roof rack the tule load bars air conditioner that we spoke of but the space in here is really nice to be able to sit it's about six foot ten at the highest point comes back about six foot four i believe the lowest point is four foot two in the back here but as i'm sitting here i've got plenty of space you can sit multiple folks around this table be able to hang out eat drink play some games you're definitely going to be comfortable enough although this trailer is small it fits plenty plenty for what you need so this is the uh the 2021 taxa cricket here at frets rv of Sowerton, pennsylvania again my name is bronson if you have any more questions feel free to reach out i'll be glad to help let me know in the comments give a call out to the dealership and ask for me make sure to like the video if you enjoyed subscribe to keep up with our further content i hope to bring you folks many more videos here to the channel i'll see you in the next one thanks